Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to add custom formulas to the CQG desktop platform. Now, this is useful for a couple reasons, two of which I'll be going over. The first one is for filtering multiple accounts to monitor risk conditions and filter a view to only display those conditions. The second being to create custom columns to display risk algorithms to indicate when accounts might be getting into trouble. So first up, I'll be showing you how to add custom formulas to filter accounts. And to do this, I would first suggest opening up a new page. Head over to the left hand side of your interface, click on the more drop down button and scroll down to add a new page and we'll add an empty page. And you can name this page formulas. From here, you'll need to add an account summary and a formulas widget to your empty page. So to do this, click on add a widget. We'll type in account for account summary. And then we'll type in formulas. And now we have both of our widgets open and ready to go. Now we can add a formula in either widget by clicking on the three vertical dots. As you can see under the account summary widget, we have create a custom formula. And we also have it in the formulas widget as well for a new formula. So we'll be clicking on the new formula. And for our example, we'll be showing how to set a custom filter for accounts with a negative balance. So first you're going to want to name your formula. So under the title, we'll name ours negative balance. And under our expression, we are going to type in account. This designates to the platform that we are filtering by accounts with a current balance of less than zero, which is essentially saying our account has a current balance of less than zero, AKA negative balance. And to make this an actual filter, we are going to hit condition and we will save our custom formula. And as you can see here, I have now created the custom formula under the title negative balance. Now let me show you how to apply this filter. Filters can be applied in the account summary widget as we have here on our left. And to activate this filter, we'll click the drop down button where our account is. And by default, your account should be displayed here. And as you notice, if we click the drop down menu, we have the options to add a custom filter. And as you can see here, this is the custom filter we have created. And if I click on this, our account summary widget will now be filtered by negative balances. Being that I'm on a demo account and I'm only using one account currently, nothing is being displayed here. But if I was trading with multiple live accounts and one were to have a negative balance, it would be displayed in this section. Unfortunately, I can't show you that because I am not trading with live contracts, nor do I have multiple accounts open. It is also worth mentioning that the filter I did add was one that the platform has by default. If you take a look right under the formula that, that we created, there is a default negative balance condition already preset. And if you wanted to check the expression over again, you can scroll over to the right side of this widget and all the expressions are listed here. As you can see, it is the same one that I created. And if for whatever reason you would like to delete or recustomize one of these expressions you have created, if you scroll over to the formula widget, you'll notice next to any custom created formula that there will be a little pen icon as well as the X icon. The pen or the pencil icon is used for editing. And as you can see, we can go back into our expression and formulas and we can edit them or we can simply delete them by clicking on the X and you'll get a confirmation to delete the formula. And if we click delete, our formula is now gone. As I mentioned before, I'll be showing you two uses when adding custom formulas. The second one being to sort by custom columns. Now when using a custom formula to create a custom column, you'll want to enter this one in into the account summary widget. So we'll go to the three vertical dots and this time we'll go to manage columns. And on the right side of the window, we'll go to plus column and we'll go to the bottom left hand corner and now click the add formula button. 
And by adding it here, because we started the formula from the plus column tab, once a formula is saved, it will be added to the window tab. And you'll see that more in a little bit. Now for the custom formula for my column that I'll be adding, this column will be showing purchasing power minus the margin as a percent. So for our title, we'll name it purchasing power minus margin, and then we'll type in percent, just so we know that it's displayed by percent. And for our expression, we'll be typing in two parentheses, account, dot purchasing power and as you can see it's already listed in by default minus account again but this time it'll be by the margin we'll have a closed parentheses divided by count again dot purchasing power once more and then we'll close off the parentheses and multiply this by 100. So now that we have our expression in place, we'll head over to formatting. And under the format result as, we'll display it as a number. We'll use zero decimal places. And then we'll use buy and sell colors. And we'll click save. And as I mentioned before, because we started the formula from the plus column tab, and the formula is saved, it was added to the window tab. So to show you what this actually means, if we go back into view and manage widget options, manage columns, and scroll down, our custom formula or custom column is now saved into our account summary column windows. And you can drag this around to wherever you like, and I'm gonna put it right up top just so we can see this being displayed. So if I back out of this, and go to my account summary window. I'll stretch this out a little bit. We can see right here, our custom column with our custom formula has now been added to our account summary widget. If you have any problems adding these custom formulas or just want to reassure yourself that this is a custom formula that you did create, you can hover over it just to check the expression out and the title will be displayed right here as the title we originally named it. It's also worth mentioning that you don't have to use these formulas that I showed you here. I've showed you them for mere demo purposes, but you can add any custom formulas you like and the possibilities are virtually endless. And as I mentioned before, the platform does come pre-installed with multiple conditions and formulas for you to use. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.